So I'm here with Mitch Canham. He is uh, currently a coach in the Mariners minor league system, also runs uh, Base by Pros. But Mitch, the first question I have for you is, is Oregon State, you know, you're, you graduated from, or did you graduate from Oregon State? Yeah, or yeah. Basically graduated from Oregon State. Um, pretty good baseball program there. You got a little experience winning a few World Series. What's it like seeing them win a World Series again this year? Um, but at the same time, there's, there's some big changes happening at Oregon State right now. So what's it like for you as an alum to, to see that? You know, it's uh, <clears throat> it's been really exciting. Every year you, you know, you're excited for the college season to start, even though you're off, you know, everyone's off doing their own thing. And, um, you know, you get excited to see how well they're playing, how they're handling adversity. So it's, you know, you still feel uh, quite a bit connected to it. I mean, it is a family, and uh, at some point, you know, everyone's going to get together on the text messages and start hollering at one another, especially when they're through the playoffs and in the World Series. And, uh, you know, them winning it last year was incredible. I remember sitting in my office down in Modesto, and, you know, it was just five minutes before I had to be out for uh, the lineup exchange. And I was like, come on, guys, let's get this thing done. Either that or I'm sending somebody else out and getting ejected from the game, you know. Um, but... It was an incredible, like, just experience uh, sitting back and watching it. You know, remembering what it felt like to run out there and, and do that. You know, so it was, I, I was excited for the the program, excited for the players, excited for all of Corvallis, all of the Northwest, Coach Casey, and everything that he's done. Um, you know, I mean, really, when we go back for the alumni uh, weekend, you know, th there's you know former alums from you know the 50s and 60s and 70s you know it's it's such a great um family and they they've they've done a great job setting up that uh brotherhood and you mentioned Coach Casey, uh, who decided to uh, hang it up at, at this year um, after winning the World Series. What are some things that you learned from him and really kind of um, using your own coaching style uh, now that you're a coach? Uh, a ton. You know, I, I remember the first time I saw Coach Casey, he was wearing white Nikes, and they were supposed to be white, but they were pretty brown, uh, you know, from working out on the field. You know, you got the head coach out there grinding away, taking care of the field, and a firm handshake. You know, um, you know, eye contact. You know, everything that he preached about. You know, let's. I want. I want you to become a, a, a man. You know, and it's not just about the the baseball stuff. It's a. It's about you know building men, um, and he demonstrated each and every day, and he, he's about as tough as it comes. So. You know, when obstacles come in your way, you, you know, he set a great example on how to um, fight through those things. So um, there wasn't a, I mean, I've had a lot of people go, hey, what would Coach Casey do right now in this situation? I'm like, yeah, that's a good question because you know what? He was, he's pretty successful, <laughs> so probably be uh, a good one to follow. But, you know, he inspired so many of us, and he reminded me a lot of, you know, the men I was around growing up, just, just tough, dedicated, loyal. Um, and you know, really just saw the bigger picture than just the game. And uh, I love him to death. And I'm, you know, always watching him, paying attention, looking for continued learning from him. And then you know, now you are a, a coach in the Mariners minor league system. What has that been like? You know, making that transition from player to coach. But just also, what is it like just to be you know in charge and seeing these young guys with all the talent they have? Well. Uh, you know, it's from from playing uh, to coaching. You know, the whole thing. I guess the foundation was already set. It's just be selfless, do the right thing, uh, build a strong process to get better each and every day, and have fun. And really, like that's those are the four big things that I'm trying to take into each and every day. That you know, the Mariners believe in. That I believe in. That um, you know, the players they 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 see it. We talk about it every day, and it. It just follows suit, and um, you know the ba the other big thing is having fun. You know, and every day we show up, especially in August, it's like, hey, how can we uh, how can we have fun today and get better? You know, and be creative with our with our work. Um, so you know, it's uh, being in professional baseball. I've often, you know, people have said, you know, you you kind of you kind of treating it like college, and I was like, well, what's the, I mean, no, it's 
I think it's, as long as you're out there, if you, if you mean I'm trying to go out there each and every day and, and I care about each and every person, and like I've been blessed. The staff I've had is since joining Pro Ball, they're, they care so much about the players. You know, the guys that are at our affiliate, um, at every other affiliate, I've, I've been so incredibly blessed with the people I get to work with. And they're tremendously inspirational and and they're always pushing the envelope of what we what can we do today to get better uh, and help these players um, fulfill their dreams and then you know here you are you're, you're running also based by pros um, I remember when it was still kind of just videos and mm -hmm. just a fledgling thing when I first met your dad and started talking with you so for you to see this grow to what it is um, tonight it was the uh, kind of the fan fest thing lots of people came out what is it like for you to see this thing that you started really kind of grow into what it is today yeah uh well yesterday we had our very first christmas party and we get everybody on the staff you know um those that could make it out out for dinner last night and yeah it's, it's come a long way since we started in 2012 and um it was actually you know sitting in the car ride on the way home last night and had it reflecting with with my wife marlis about it and it's so cool that like we've we've been a part of building this family and ha having a hub where you know families can come and and feel safe and be pushed to get better and and ask questions and get them answered and, and you know just the people that are in here I mean Brent Lillibridge and Daniel Arvella and Jody Bassard and you know Willie and James our strength coaches and JJ I mean we have a tremendous staff in here and you know I'm gone most of the year and even when I'm here they know what they're doing they're doing a great job so it's it's been great to find such wonderful people that trust with this vision and um, you know you watch all the faces that came in here tonight and just big smiles on the way in big smiles on the way out um, bellies full of cookies and cocoa and <laughs> you know helping a great cause so it's, it's been fun. And the last question I have for you, you know, you, you've made it a long ways in, in baseball. Um, and that's something that you don't do on your own. You, you have people who push you and encourage you. And, and for you in your life, who's been that, that encourager, who's been that supporter? And, you know, what people have you looked at and said, you know what, I'm here because of what they did for me? Well, um, I mean, my wife, for a number of reasons, but, you know, she... Uh, she helped me build a better relationship with Christ and you know above above and beyond like he is he is everything and um, you know we have two beautiful kids and you know both of them been in over 30 states from traveling doing the minor league thing but you know you have to have the rock at home and my wife pulls in that strong foundation between you know our faith and our family and um, uh, but you know from uh, it seems like it's uh, I've been overly blessed with people that I've been around you know my dad's inspired me my bro my younger brother my older brother um, my mom you know like Jess Lewis at Oregon State every coach I've had Roger Anderson Brent Barnes you know Ken Collins uh, you know Brandon Schmidt and uh, I can go on I remember I sat back when I first started coaching I wrote down every coach I ever had and I, you know, said these are the amazing things that they did for me, and these are what I'm grateful for, and how I hope that they can inspire me, or what I'm going to take from them. Um, you know, but it's it's such a tremendous list. I, I there hasn't been a day that's gone by, you know. And some days it's my six year old son. <laughs> some days this is our four year old daughter. You know, and um, they can just sometimes just someone looking at you and smiling and telling you that they see you is a very powerful thing and I think that we have that responsibility as as coaches as teachers uh, for our community and as leaders of of those around us is that you know when someone's walking by are you smiling are you you know acknowledging them because it, it means a lot so well Mitch thank you very much and uh, congratulations on all that's uh, been accomplished thank you